So what gorgeous dish are you cooking today? Mm, today we're going to cook a beef vindaloo. Nice. Right. Okay. So um, usually a um, base of a curry is these three ing ingredients. It's got onions, garlic and ginger. Okay. And I'm just going to put half this ginger in. And then just a puree. Just puree it, yeah. It's so fragrant already. Yeah. Now make sure that your pot is hot before you add the olive oil and it needs to caramelize. This is the base of pretty much most curries. Yeah. That's the base. And what you need to do is you need to reduce it into half. I had some leftover coriander in the fridge. Yeah. I used the stem and the roots. Yeah. Very fragrant. Can you see the oil has split from the Pounded ingredients. Yeah, yeah. That's when you know it's done. Okay, cool. Okay, so now we're gonna add the pataks paste. How much of it? All of um, it? I'd say about nearly all of it. Three quarters. You know what it reminds me of is uh, being in Malaysia with your mom in her kitchen outside and making those paste and cook them for hours and yeah, hours. Yeah, kilos of aromats that she would peel and cook. So I think just a little bit more pataks. And voila. And voila. And it was actually quite cheap to make as a student. You know, you, d you didn't have money when Sorry, you were I never, I never studied. Yeah. It shows. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Okay. I was in the kitchen at 15, mate. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You started working. Yes, that's right. So, in with the, the beef shin. Beef shins. So, we want to mix it and get all the paste coated onto the beef. Mmm. All right, now tomatoes in. In uh, just like this. Just like right, that, cool. yeah. Right. This is a one pot wonder. So the tomatoes are gonna break down and break. be part of become part of the sauce. Part of the juice, part yeah. of the sauce, and then beef stock. Okay. Oh, so just until you cover the meat. Don't forget to season. So I put quite a bit of salt because there's no salt in this, and I'm gonna put sugar. Now that is to balance the sourness. And I put about four teaspoons of sugar. Cool. Bring it to boil. Yep. And then it goes in the oven for three hours. All right. That's it. All right, muscle man. In the oven. See you later. There's a lovely thing called fioretto. They're cute, aren't they? Yeah, they're so cute. And they're so yummy when it's roasted. So very, very easy. Two seconds, really. Coat it with a little bit of olive oil, put a pinch of coriander powder, and then a pinch of cumin powder. So, so, so we're pretty much ready? Pretty much ready. So we've got the nun ready, we've got the writer ready, and we've got the floretti ready. And papadums, and we need the curry. curry. Oh, that smells nice, man. Oh, oh man. Look at that. So that's perfect. The oil's just skimmed on top. And let's check out the meat. How's... There we go. Mm. It is Fully made, Fooling apart like we want it. Nice. All right. Let's dish out. Yes, please. Food insecurity is at an all-time high at the moment. So if you can donate, please donate to ozharvest.org. And remember, every dollar provides for two meals for those in need.